ask yourself before you date someone, why am I willing to date this person? You think about it, you're a pretty cool person. Everything you've ever accomplished in life, you've had to work hard for. And you can do all these incredible things. You're beautiful, you're talented, you're incredible. So if you're that incredible person, why are you just throwing yourself out there to anybody? Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caroline. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video I have for you guys is definitely really different than any video I've ever done. This video is a dating video and let me kind of explain what I mean by that. This video is more like an advice type of video because I've noticed so many girls and guys are obviously dating. So I just wanted to kind of talk about the various aspects of dating like why people currently date, how long have people been dating, like what dating is and my just kind of general opinion on it. I just want to basically start off by saying I have never dated anyone and that at first makes me feel like oh I'm not really qualified to make this video because I don't really know what dating is or I have no experience in it but I think that gives me a very different and unique position on the topic. As a person who has never dated anybody and who's 15 almost 16 so I can just kind of give you my opinion and let you guys know what I think and you can make your own decision on what you guys think. So I just wanted to start with saying like what is dating? Kind of give the technical definition of what dating is so you can know exactly what I'm referring to. Dating is a part of human mating process whereby two people meet socially for companionship beyond the level of friendship or with the aim of each assessing the other's suitability as a partner in an intimate relationship or marriage. By that definition, dating is basically looking for a person who you one day want to marry. Number one, if you don't know them, that's definitely a good reason not to date someone. You don't want to date a total stranger because you don't know anything about them. They could be a really great person, but they could also be like a crazy murderer or have absolutely nothing in common with you or absolutely hate everything that you do and that's not going to set you up for a happy relationship. So don't date someone you don't know. And I know what a lot of people say is, well I get to know them through dating. And at first that sounds like a good idea, but then you realize, well when you're dating someone you're really emotionally connected to that person. So find out things about them before you start dating them. Be friends with them. And I know a lot of people say how bad it is to be in the friend zone, but how great is it? to be able to call yourself a friend of someone you really care about. I think that sounds like a great plan. And if it goes further, great. If it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be anyway. Second reason, social status. And this is a horrible reason to date someone. Never, never, never date someone so you can have cute Instagram pictures or you get likes on the internet or so you can change your profile to Taken. Never do that. Who might be happy on your Instagram? It might appear that you're having a great life. That might appear that way. If you're not really happy, you're just doing it to get likes on the internet, that relationship is bad for you. And it's probably gonna end very quickly and result in further heartache. The third reason you should not date someone is don't date someone just because your friends are. If your friends are dating somebody, I'm talking if every one of your friends have a boyfriend or have had multiple boyfriends, that doesn't mean you should. I think so many people think in order to have friends, they have to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And that's not true. Your real friends don't care about you having a boyfriend or a girlfriend in order to seem socially cool. Fourth reason, you, if you feel the need to date them because you're not secure in yourself. So you go out and search for confidence and happiness in somebody else. Ladies, guys will never ever make you feel secure about yourself. You can never put your happiness inside of another person. You can't ever do that because one day if they leave, your happiness will be gone. You need to find your happiness within yourself and, or if you're a Christian, find it within Christ. You will never ever find full, complete, true happiness in somebody else. They may make you happy because I have lots of people in my life who do make me happy, but they are not my happiness. My happiness can partially come from them, but never fully. If you don't respect yourself, guys won't respect you. And that's the same way for girls. Guys, if you don't respect yourself, a girl's not gonna respect you either. It goes both ways. Another thing to consider is why are you thinking about dating this person? Is it just because they're cute or because they're friends with some people you wanna get into the friend group with? All bad ideas. I, I know I'm, try I'm trying not to be negative, but there are just so many reasons that I've noticed people date that they shouldn't do it. And so I really wanna protect you guys from making bad decisions because I love you and I don't want you to get hurt. So the number one tip I can give you guys is to make a list. And not to make a list of possible guys you would date. 
because that'll change. I'm saying make a list of things that you want in a future spouse. Make a list now. I think it's very important to do these things because right now while you can think logically and say, I really don't want a person who does this or I really do want a person who does this, while you can, if you can write those down now while you don't have to worry about your heart fighting with your head, that's great because then one day if your heart is fighting with your head, you can refer back to this list and say, this is what's best for me. I have done this personally. You can always add things to these lists. If you think of something else, then you can always add them. These lists are not like you make it today and that's your future. I can read you guys some of my things on my list. It's, I won't read all of them because that would take a long time. For me personally, I want this guy to believe in Christ and we need to have similar beliefs so that we will be able to get along well together. Is I want this person to be really forgiving and patient. My future spouse, I want to be open to adoption. So remember, all these things that you've written down, you need to hold yourself to that same standard. So to recap really quickly, dating should be with a purpose. Dating was originally supposed to be with the intent of marrying someone. So if you're not intending on marrying someone, it's probably not a good thing to date them. The last piece of advice I have to you is uh, something I see a lot and it's PDA. And really just physical contact, whether it's in public or in private, would you really be doing that if your future spouse was in the room? And on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this type of video and you want to see more like them. Comment down below some video suggestions you have for this channel or some wisdom that you may have for us on your past experiences to help us. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already for more videos every single week. And follow me on my Instagram so you can see what I'm up to throughout my life while I'm not making videos, and I think that's it. So thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye. That's how you change the world.